Hey guys, it's Andy with The Rag Company and Levi with The Rag Company. And in today's video, we're going to be answering the question of whether to blow or not to blow. That is the question. Yeah, that is a question. So we're answering that and more in today's FAQ video. So blow drying devices for car detailing. They could come in this form or One that of these form. little guys. It comes in multiple forms, but is it makes sense to blow dry your car or to towel dry your car? Levi, what, what is the answer to that question? So contrary to popular belief, okay. I'm not a fan of blow drying a car first. What? What? You're not? I'm a towel man. Well, we do work for a towel company. That's true, but here's the deal. I love to take a towel and dry a car. Okay. This way I get as much water as I can. Then I take air. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then I go around and blow out the rest of the spots. Okay, gotcha. Using another towel. I guess more or less I'm a two towel kind of guy. So that's kind of that's kind of the opposite of what I typically do because when I have a, a large body of water on the car, right? Mm -hmm, Perhaps mm -hmm. tons and tons and tons of yeah, beads. Copious, beautiful, copious amounts. Copious amounts of beautiful beads uh, that sit on top of my coated or sealed or mm -hmm. waxed vehicle. Yeah. Sometimes it's faster for me to blow dry the vehicle with either something like the Master Blaster or something uh, like the Ego Blower here, knocking all that off and then coming back through with a drying aid and a drying towel and cleaning everything up. I, I, I can see the point and you're not oh, wrong in okay, the way okay. you do it. Okay. I don't think I'm wrong either in the way that I do it. No, I don't think you're wrong. But I will say the biggest thing is to make sure that you are using something to make sure that you get all those runs, drips, and water that hides in all those cracks and crevices and trim pieces on vehicles. Because the last thing, and the one thing you and I can both agree on, is we don't like seeing unsightly drips. I do not like that at all whatsoever, especially when you have hard water, yeah, right? Exactly. Because that hard water runoff dries right up in the sun, and now you don't just have, uh, you don't have a water droplet, you have a water streak. It's like a trail. A trail They've that is completely blazed. dried. Yeah. A blazed trail that we do not want on the vehicle. So to basically kind of sum this up, guys, um, whether or not to blow dry your car is really up to you, but it makes a whole lot of sense. Back in the day, uh, I didn't even think about blow drying my vehicle. I didn't even think about that. Uh, it wasn't until a couple of years ago I picked up a, a little master blaster of my own and started utilizing that for my motorcycle washes, which made a whole lot of sense. But then I thought, well, why don't I just blow out all the jams yeah. and everything else on the rest of my vehicle? And so that's when I first started utilizing Utilizing that, did you start using compressed air in your shop? Yes. Is that kind of where it started? Yeah. So when I first started detailing, I learned with compressed air how okay. to detail with compressed air. So I never really went without it, gotcha. and it became a useful tool for everything. And so even when I was young, I always had access to an air compressor. My father had a very large air compressor in his shop. Yeah. But I always dried the car first, whether it was a chamois or a towel. And then I would go around and hit the cracks and crevices. And it would be at that same time that I use something like a detail spray yeah. to wipe up, give me some extra lubrication on the surface, but also absorb all those extra liquids and droplets. Now, you do have to be careful. These tools provide perfect air. Yeah. Right. This blows Correct. a ton of air. This actually provides heated air where in an air compressor, if you're in a shop and you don't clean your air compressor, you don't drain it enough, you start to get oil yeah, in the tank things and like that. particulates and all kinds of stuff, water. So you can have the reverse effect. Or you're blowing more crap onto the or paint. Or you're blowing than you more think. crap onto the paint. Yeah. So uh, you do, if you are going to use compressed air, nothing wrong with it. Just make sure that you're dumping your tank every day and that you actually have nice oil and water separators on your tank and dryers to help give that the best, cleanest air that you can have come yeah. out of those. But yeah. in a pinch, if you don't have that, you don't have access to a compressor. I mean, the leaf blower is a great project. Yeah, I use this way more on my vehicle than I ever have on my yard. And I think that uh, it's paid for itself by now. But my, my master blaster that I do have, I also use that uh, pretty frequently as well. Basically, it's just a matter of whether or not I want to plug something in or pick this up being wireless and just get straight to yeah, it. Yeah, well, right? and what's nice about this is it's a little easier to hold, a little more uh, uh, intricate for yeah. like your motorcycle, like you're saying. Yeah. It works a lot better to get into spots where this is a little more cumbersome. Covers more large surface area, you know. though. Yeah. It does. And so it, it's kind of up to you. So really, guys, to, to kind of bring this back around, right, uh, is it wrong to blow dry your car? No, not at all. I guarantee you probably won't get away with blow drying the entire car and getting rid of every single speck of water on there. Yeah, that's um, impossible. It, it's not realistic. For example, like the Master Blaster, they have powerful blowers, but you're going to be there for a while trying to do that. Whereas real 
realistically, if you can blow as much of that water off the car and then come back through with a drying towel or take a drying towel, get most of the water off and then come back through with one of these, you can utilize this within your regimen and it will make sense. And you'll find that it is extremely, extremely helpful for getting rid of any type of uh, unsightly water that you don't want dripping around your car. So hopefully that answers your question, guys. It's kind of a, a, a big ring there, but hopefully that all made sense. It does make sense, uh, even coming from a towel company. We love our drying towels to death, but we find that in conjunction with these blowers, we're actually able to get more out of them and especially it's quicker, faster, and you do a better job. Yeah, and we do a better job. So hopefully that answers your question. So as always, guys, if you guys like this video, make sure you give us a big thumbs up, subscribe down below for more, and stay tuned for more videos right here at the Rad Company FAQ channel. See ya!